All right, shalom, 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 yashallah. Back at you with another Lord willing to find a lesson on the brother to come. But before I go any further, I'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to our Heavenly Father, to the only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Next up, the bond is our apostle, and that was a great millstone rule well. From teaching us this truth according to the Bible, double shalom all to all you should say, I can throw out the four corners of the earth. Keep pushing, keep the faith, stay strong. And I'm just going to get into a little willing and edifying lesson pretty much on two-thirds of the nation of Israel. So-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans are gone. Gone in the mind. You see, gone in the brain. There's no fixing them on this side. There's no helping them. They're going to continue to go off. You see, they're going to continue to be wicked. They're going to continue to add sin upon sin. The only thing they need, the only thing that can fix the majority of our people is death. You see, that's what it's going to take. It's going to take Yahweh Bashima Osha, you know, to bring death upon two thousand of our people because they are gone, man. They're too far gone. So without further ado, I'm going to dive right into it. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 1. The vision of of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. That's right, Judah being the southern kingdom and Jerusalem being the northern kingdom, pretty much all 12 tribes. It says, in the days of Isaiah, Jonah, Isaiah, and excuse me, I'm saying some of these wrong. It says in Hezekiah, kings of Judah, Verse 2, hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord, Yahweh Bahashima was shy, have spoken, have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. That's right. And those children that Yahweh Bahashima was shy has nourished and brought up, those children that Yahweh Bahashima was shy has been taken care of. And watching after, are you Israelites? You so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. You see, it was the Lord who always had our best interest. You see, it was Yahweh Bashim al-Shah who was making sure that we were good. But what did we do? We rebelled against our power. We rebelled against our creator. You know, it was our minds to go astray from serving Yahweh by Shemal Shah. You see, to go a horn, to go in to worship these false gods. You see, these false idols, which he had no gods, the gods of the other nations. It was our minds to go astray, you know, to go and fall into these heathen nations, doing what they do, committing all type of sins, committing all type of wickedness. You see, we rebelled against Yahweh Bashim Shah after everything they did for us. But coming into these last days, you got the very hopeful elect, whoever they may be, you know, striving, fighting, trying to the best of their ability to get back into good graces with their power, Yahweh Bashim Shah, repenting, asking for forgiveness. But on the flip side of that, you got two thirds of our people of the nation of Israel. They're still offending the Lord. You see, not thinking they're doing nothing wrong. You see, they're still rebelling against the Lord. You see, and that's why a lot of our people are still being judged. That's why two thirds of our people are still being put to death. Why? Because they're still rebelling against the Lord. Verse three, the ox know of his owner. And the ass is master's crib. But Israel do not know. My people do not consider. That's right. So two dumb animals, an ox and an ass, they know their owner and their master's crib. You see, an ox and an ass, they know who feeds them. They know who take care of them. They know where they sleep at, where they bathe at. Two animals know this. But Israel... Two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latino Americans, 
you don't know. And what don't you know? You don't know who your power is. You too busy thinking your God is the gods of the other nation, these false gods. You don't know where you're from. You see? The majority of our people don't know anything, man. And that's not even the bad part about it. The bad part about the bad part about it is not that you don't know. The bad part about it is not that you don't uh, 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 know these things. Read knowing it says my people do not consider. It. That's the bad part. You don't even consider it. It don't even come across your mind that your power is actually held by Shemal Shah. You see, it doesn't come across your mind that you may be actually, you know, the chosen people. Of your how about Shema Shah the Hebrew Israelites? It doesn't come across your mind that you might be actually from Israel. You see? It doesn't cross our people's mind, man. Why? Because they don't care. Two thirds of our people of the nation of Israel, so called Negroes, Latin Americans, they don't consider because they don't care. That's why two thirds of our people are gone in the mind. You see? They're so caught up into the ways of this place called America, Babylon. You see, or wherever they've been scattered at, that they don't care. You see, as long as they can do what they want to do, they don't care. You see, two thirds of our people are gone, and it's going to take death. It's going to take Yahweh Bashim Hashem destroying them on this side and bringing them back in the kingdom and their rights to their mind. Verse 4. A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. That's right. You look at that word laden, it goes into filled. So a people filled with iniquity. That's right. You see, two thousand people, they're filled with iniquity. Sin upon sin. Every turn and turn around, you're seeing our people committing some type of sin. And with a sin, transgressing the law. First John 3 and 4. It says, a seed of evildoers. You see? The majority of our people are a seed of evildoers. Always trying to come up with an evil master plan. Always trying to get over. You see? It says, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the the Lord, Yahweh Shah. That's right. You see? Two-thirds of you Israelites, you have forsaken the Lord, man. It says, they have provoked the Holy One to anger. They are gone away backwards. That's right. The majority of our people are gone away backwards, man. They went the wrong way. And now, because they went the wrong way, they provoke Yahweh Shemashan to anger, man. That's why so much judgment is going forward. That's why the majority of our people is being judged left and right. Every single day. You see, now the Lord is bringing his judgment upon the majority of our people. Guess what? As it says in Zephaniah, he fell of not, man. The Lord is going to keep judging two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, because you're gone, man. And you ain't trying to get right. You're a bunch of can't get rights. I'm going to um, grab my next precept. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 2. I believe this is it. Yep. Uh, 3. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3. This is Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 4. And he said unto me, Son of man, Go get thee unto the house of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, and speak with my words unto them. That's right, because when we go speak, we're not speaking our own words. We're not coming off our own understanding, our own our own opinions. You see, we're speaking the words of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. That's right. So when the Lord sent us to go speak these words, he didn't send us to a people of a strange speech or a hard language, pretty much of a nation whose words we can't understand, who we can't comprehend. No, he sent us to you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans. 
it says not too many people of a strange speech and of a hard language whose words thou can't understand. It says, surely had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. That's right. So again, the Lord didn't send us to the other nations whose words we can't understand. You see, but if the Lord did send us to the other nations, you know, whose language we can't understand, guess what? The Lord said they would have hearkened, they would have took heed unto us. You see, we have people flooding the internet pages, coming to watch the videos, trying to get as much information as they can. They'll be out there on the highways and byways, you know, crowded around, trying to get this truth. You see, they would listen, they would take heed. They'll get an order in line real quick. Verse 7. But the house of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latin Americans, two thirds of y'all, will not hearken. For they will not hearken unto me. That's right. So the Lord is telling Ezekiel, they ain't going to hearken unto you, just like they ain't going to hearken unto the Lord. And we're coming in the spirit of Ezekiel. So they ain't going to hearken unto us. You see? Because they ain't hearken unto you how about Shema was shot. But we still got a job to do. You see? We still got to go out and preach. Preach to our people. We still got to teach them. Even though they ain't going to listen to us. Because we don't want that blood on our hands. When they get judged. When they get put to death. You see. But that goes to show you. That our people. Not hearkening to how about my shot. Not hearkening to us. That shows you that what. They're gone in the mind. You see. That shows you that they're destroyed. It says, for all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. That's right. I'm going to look at the word impudent. Let me see. Go back. Bear with me, Aki. The definition of impudent. It says, not showing due respect for another person. Impudent. <laughs> and that's the majority of our people. They're not showing you how about Shema Shah they do respect that they deserve, man. And how do they not show you how about Shema Shah respect? By not following the guidelines. By not following the things that are written therein. By not following the standards. Which is what? This word. By not keeping the things that are written therein. You see the commandments of the Bible to the best of your ability. You see, two thirds of our people are not trying to do that. You see? They don't want nothing to do with Yahweh Bashim Asha. As the scripture says, just right paraphrasing it, calls the Holy One of Israel to cease before us. That's how the majority of our people feel about Yahweh Bashim Asha. They don't want nothing to do with them. They're not showing Yahweh Bashim Asha to due respect. Some synonyms. It says, uh, let me see. Ill mannered. <laughs> Two thirds of people are ill mannered. It says shameless, disrespectful, mm -mm -mm -mm. bold. You see? So I'm going to go back. This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 7. But to the house of Israel, they will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent, disrespectful, and hard-hearted. Heart goes back to the Hebrew word, laws means your mind. So two thousand of people are hard-minded. They're hard-headed, man. They won't listen. You see? Two thirds of people won't listen. They're a bunch of can't get rights. And again, the only thing it's going to take for a people to get right is death. And the Lord's going to have to bring them back on the other side of the kingdom and their rights to the mind because they're just not going to get on this side, man. They're not. Let me get another precept. I ain't going to make this long. This is Jeremiah chapter. What is it? Is it five? No. Is it five? Bear with me, I can. Yep, 
Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. My people is foolish. That's right. And this ain't talking about, you know, these other nations. It's talking about you Israelites, two-thirds. You see, you're foolish. You see? And why are you foolish? It says, they have not known me. Why haven't you known your power? Because you've been too busy worshiping these other gods, these false Guys, the guys of the other nations, Allah, Buddha, the Hindu God of Shiva, Santa Maria, Jesus Christ. You see, these are all false powers. And that's why you haven't known Yahabashim al Shah. It says, they are sadist children. That's right, two, two thirds of our people, they're sadist, man. They're stupid, man. And they don't take a rack of science to see that two thirds of our people are stupid, man. How they act. How they conduct themselves, how they move. Two thousand people show that they're stupid. Even by the things that they say. The things that come out of their mouth at times. You see? It says, and they have none understanding. That's right. The majority of our people have none understanding. Why? Get a quick preacher real quick. This is why they don't have no understanding. This is Psalm chapter 110, verse 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's right. So the beginning of wisdom comes from the fear of the Lord. This is the point. It says, a good understanding have all they that do his commandments. So two thirds of our people, they have none understanding because what? They're not keeping the commandments. If you want understanding, according to your Bashimasha, keep the commandments. But our people have no understanding because they ain't keeping the commandments. And on top of that, they're not fearing the Lord. It says, his praise endure forever. That's right. So I'm going to go back. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 14. 22 so like you mm, wrong one bear with me I can Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22 for my people is foolish they had not known me they are sought as children, and they have done and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. That's right. So the majority of our people, they're wise, they're smart. They go do evil, they go commit all type of uh, wickedness, sin upon sin, cooking crack, selling dope, committing adultery, indulging in sodomy, worshiping these false gods. You see, this is all evil. They're wise, they're doing this. But when it comes to doing good, according to the Bible, when it comes to doing that what is right, they have no knowledge. Which knowledge means to know. They don't know nothing. They don't have no knowledge. Why? Because going back to Proverbs 1 and 7, they don't fear the Lord. Because fearing the Lord is how you get the beginning of knowledge. Fearing the Lord is how you know something. You see? So our people are foolish. The majority of our people are foolish, man. And that's why they got to be destroyed on this side. That's why they got to be put down. I'm going to get one preset. I'm going to close out. Matter of fact, I'm going to close out right there. Lord will, I'm going to do a part two because I don't want to go over my time. You know, but at the end of the day, man, the majority of our people, two-thirds of the nation of Israel are gone, man. You see, they are gone. And it's going to take Yahweh, Bashim, Shah, Yahweh being the Father. That's what the word calls God. And Yahweh, Shah being the begotten Son. That's what the word calls Jesus. But it's going to take for them to keep judging and destroying our people, two-thirds of our people on this side, man. And getting rid of them and bringing them back in the kingdom and the rights to the mind because they are gone. You see, and the ones of you so called Negroes, Latin Americans, who can receive this truth, you know, who starting to understand this truth in these last days, you know, come out from amongst, you know, the rest of our people because they're not going to get right. Be separate. You see, 
come out from amongst them. So that's pretty much my lesson, Lord willing. Hopefully, that has been edified. Till next time I say, Shalom.